In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 158, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This week I continued working on hotspots. First I added the three test hotspots to the spawner UI, and some new icons by Aubrey so it's easier to tell which is which. Next I added a parameter system that allows you to add information to individual hotspots. For example, if I create the display text hotspot and run into it, it just says default text. But I can select it and press U to bring up Jeff's parameter editor UI, and then change the text to say something else. These individual parameters are important because without them, there's no way to get two instances of the same script to behave differently. You can also use parameters to hook up load level hotspots. If you just create one and walk into it, it won't work because it doesn't know which level you want to load. But if you select it and press U to bring up the parameter editor, you can enter the path for the level file. These are really simple test cases, but this system actually makes scripting a lot more powerful, because you can make your own customizable hotspots without making any changes to the engine code. Soon I'd like to extend the system to work with other objects as well. For example, it should be especially useful for characters, so we can easily change their strength, speed, and skill level, and use parameters like that to set up more varied combat situations. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfhire.com slash preorder. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at wolfhire.